Hi sweeties, welcome to Sweet Savant. Let's cook some lamb chops. Lamb chops, two ways. Sweet with honey, savory with yogurt. All done in my Ninja Foodie Grill. Yeah, it's getting a workout in this kitchen. This was done on the air crisp setting. This one with the yogurt was done on the grill. And the great thing about it is it cooks so quickly and you don't have to mess with turning it or anything. Let me show you how I did it. But first, subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that notification bell, that thumbs up, and let's get into it. I put a damp paper towel underneath my cutting board to keep it from sliding around while I'm cutting up the lamb because I went to Sam's and I bought um, their racks of lamb to come in a pack and it's much less expensive than buying individual lamb chops from the regular grocery store. The bones come already Frenched, meaning that they take the meat skin on um, off the ends of the bones. Looks really beautiful meat and then we're just gonna cut down with a sharp knife between each chop to make individual lamb chops. Now this doesn't take very long to do. You do have to be careful because once you get down to the base of the lamb chop, the bones kind of shift out a little bit so you have to turn your knife just a bit, but it's not difficult at all. And we got eight lamb chops per rack from that package. Let's season that lamb up with a little kosher salt. Just sprinkle it evenly. And some fresh ground cracked black pepper. And then for a little heat, some cayenne pepper. And you can make it as hot or not as you like. That is completely up to you. Garlic powder and onion powder would both be great additions to this recipe as well. Now grab your honey bear and squeeze some honey all over that lamb and grab a basting brush and then you can just brush the honey onto both sides of those lamb chops. Make sure you season both sides as well. You don't want no half season food around here. As you can see, I get a little heavy handed with the cayenne. I like a little heat. Cayenne is not too hot, but it gives you a nice warm spice. Comment below and let me know if you like your food hot and spicy or mild. Let's get some more honey on that other side. I do like that combination of hot and sweet together. Now we've got our next batch of eight lamb chops already seasoned up, but this batch we are going to brush with some plain Greek yogurt. Now the Greek yogurt adds such a nice tangy flavor to the lamb chops. And if you let it sit for a while, they'll even tenderize the meat a bit, but with lamb chops, they're already going to be super tender, so you don't really have to worry about tenderizing them as much. So we flip them over and get the yogurt on the other side. And now we're ready to get to our air fryer. And this time we're going to use the Ninja Foodie Grill. We're going to use it as both a grill and an air fryer. We're going to do one batch grilled and one batch air fried. So we've got our honey coated lamb and our yogurt covered lamb ready to go. We'll use the grill function on that Ninja Foodie Grill first. So let's start it to preheat. So we press the grill button and then temperature up to max, which is 510 degrees and then we'll set the time and I set it for 10 minutes which is actually too long so I can adjust that down later. 
So the Ninja Foodie Grill has finished preheating and it says add food. We have our grill grate in there already so the grate is hot. We'll start with those yogurt covered lamb chops and you can hear that sizzle as soon as we put those lamb chops on that hot grill. Please be careful because the Ninja Foodie does get super hot. Watch your fingers. Now those eight lamb chops fit perfectly into the Ninja Foodie grill. And um, let's put that time down a little bit. We don't need to cut, cook it for quite that long. Five minutes is enough. And let's press start. All right, our lamb chops are done. So let's take a look inside. Gorgeous, just beautiful. That's the good thing about this Ninja Foodie Grill is you don't even have to turn the food. Pot, look at those grill marks. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to take the grill grate out and do the rest those honey glazed lamb chops with the um, air fry basket. So we'll press air crisp and then set the temperature and on air crisp the temperature goes as high as 450 degrees and then we'll set the time and it'll preheat just like it did with the grill and we'll press start. We're gonna spray the honey-coated lamb with a little bit of oil spray. Um, it'll help keep it from sticking, but the Ninja Pudi Grill also has a non-stick grate. And we're going to also use the Air Crisp liners as well. That'll make cleanup much easier. Let's get those lamb chops into the Ninja Pudi Grill and get them air frying. Again, it's gonna go really, really quickly but you can hear that sizzle. It really gets nice and hot. And I think because it's so much smaller, you know, it really gets the food close to the uh, heating element and fan. So it has already started counting down and we'll be done in a few minutes. Just like that, our lamb is done. Now there is one thing I wanted to show you on the Ninja Foodie Grill. If you want to add more time, if like say we wanted to go for a few more minutes, when you do it, if it's already hot enough, it'll just continue cooking. However, like let's say we switch to the grill and it's up at 500 degrees. If we want to start it cooking, it'll go back to that preheat function and get it up to 500 degrees before it starts cooking. So just be aware of that. Um, it can be a little tricky. Some people find that um, annoying if it starts to go to that preheat setting when they just want to, you know, get ready to cook. But it really is not that um, big of a deal if you're working at the same temperature. Look at that beautiful color on there. And even with those liners down on the pan, you still get good color and good even cooking in that uh, Ninja Foodie Grill. So I'm very happy with the way that these turned out. Quick cooking, you don't have to flip it over and turn it for it to cook evenly on both sides. I cook these to about medium rare, but you know, you cook it to the temperature you like it. It's your lamb chop, so you cook it the way you want it. The USDA recommends that you cook lamb um, rib or loin chops to 145 degrees and then let them rest for three minutes. Lamb chops, two ways. Sweet with honey, mm, look at that. Savory with yogurt spiced right with a little cayenne pepper. So good, so, so good. Served it with a healthy 
multi-vegetable slaw, got broccolini in there, cabbage, kale, all that stuff. The lamb was made in that Ninja Foodie Grill. I like it. I like it a lot. It does a great job. It gets nice and hot. For more product demos, recipes like this one, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and click on my face to subscribe.